Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and today I wanted to show you guys a new Ixal Beast Tribe daily quest area thingy that just got added in patch 2.35. And so far, I'm actually really impressed with how good of a job they did with these daily quests. So as we enter here, first of all, I gotta say, one of the best things about this is that this area, you can finally pass through it. It's been so annoying. Even though it's not much longer to go this way, it's just been so annoying not being able to just cut right through here in the middle. Now, after you do the first two introductory quests, one in New Gridani and one in this area itself, you'll actually gain access to it. And then you have all this these areas down here. As you can see, everyone's bustling about in the area. And all of these quests are actually for crafters. So, uh, I know that sounds a little bit daunting to some people, but it's actually very accessible to everybody. So, there's four daily quests with this. There's three uh, normal crafting dailies, and then there's this, and then there's one delivery quest. Now, when you do the delivery quest, it gives you experience, gill, uh, Ixali relations, which is their reputation, and ventures. And it only requires you be disciple of hand level 1 and above. There's a special buff you get to craft their items, a special crafting uh, facility that you have to talk to an NPC to get. And it lowers all the recipes down to your current crafting level. So even if you're only crafting level 1, you can still do these quests. And hell, you can even use them to level your crafting, uh, your crafting classes if you so desire. Which is really great because on top of doing leaves, this is another way to get some, I'm hoping, pretty nice bonus experience. I don't know if that 43,000 scales with level or anything. I'll have to check it out on a lower level crafting class. And also, the Disciple of uh, War and Magic, there is an aspect of that, level 41+. plus. But we have that one delivery quest. That gives 50 reputation. That's a lot. Uh, at rank 3, I get 51 reputation from 6 quests in the Sylphs right now. But that also explains why there's 7 total ranks for the Ixal daily quests. And then you have the 3 normal ones over here. These are, again, crafting, as it says, uh, the crafting portion, Disciple of Hand level 1 and above, and the War of Magic 41 and above. This might change as we unlock more dailies with higher ranks. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work exactly yet. But again, you get a lot of Exali relations. You get 15 from each of these, and you get a few shards here and there, probably to make up for the few you'll probably spend doing the quest. And overall, it seems to be super accessible. And to top it all off, according to XIVDB, these risk gloves, which, by the way, uh, you get when you start the quest, and they're required for crafting the Ixali items, they actually get upgraded at some point, and we may be able to do away with pentamelded hands. I don't know the exact stats on the hands, on the fully upgraded ones, but still. Let's, uh, let's check out also purchase items neutral. You can buy new wrist gloves if you lose them by accident, and then you have some basic items right here, some branches and whatnot. There is also Ixali Oak Knots, which uh, we can't, I don't think I have access to yet. I think I'm going to need a uh, higher rank before I can get Ixali Oak Knots, but those are a currency that you can use to buy other items as well, and they have a repair NPC, of course. So overall, this is what the area looks like. It's really cool, and it's really bustling right now, so if you're looking to get into doing some of these crafting dailies uh, or if you're somebody who is a crafter at heart anyway and is just looking for other things to do as a crafter bam you got this right here and so far it's looking pretty good don't forget if you get all of your beast tribes to the maximum rank with the maximum rank of the ixali being i think seven or something like that as opposed to the four of everything else then uh then there's going to be an allied beast tribe quest as well don't know how that's going to play out but I'm glad to see that this was actually pretty well designed so far. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share to my channel for more Final Fantasy XIV stuff. Until next time, guys, take care.